This is a very special video. It's the first in a series that I'll be sharing. I had the great fortune to interview a wonderful lady who was born March 26, 1926 in my county here in the Junaluska section of my county. Her name is Rachel Virginia Hicks. She was a Gibby before she was a Hicks, so that was her maiden name. She also goes by the names Sis and Granny is what a lot of people call her. She is just a storehouse of information about all things uh, when you think about Appalachia from those days of the 20s all the way till today. In this first episode of the interview, she discusses that area where she grew up, where she was born and raised, Junaluska, the Junaluska section of Cherokee County, North Carolina. She also talks about some of the families that live there. If you're a local and you know the Lambert family, she talks about them a little bit. She also tells the miraculous story of her husband. Her husband's name was Lewis, and how he survived what should have really killed him. It was just a miracle that he even lived. Uh, she tells detail about it, but it was a logging accident where he actually lost part of his skull. He went on to live a full life to provide for his family. It's really a miracle. She also talks a little bit about her children. She had eight children. Her first was born... Uh, was a little boy and he died so she talks about that and then talks a little bit about the others that she had just a fascinating peek into her life i hope that you enjoy this video but i hope that you'll stay tuned for all the others where she just shares a wonderful um kind of almost like your time traveling going back to hear the way things were when she was a girl growing up here in the mountains of appalachia okay Lois. they're out there oh, those old people some people they call them all kind of things, but there's all, there's good people. It always was. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's funny when you uh, you probably feel like I do when you uh, and not that we're not saying that we're any better than anybody else. No. We're not saying that. But when you meet those kind of people, don't you just feel like those are my people? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those they, are my they, people. They're yeah. they're good. You know, yeah. they're good people. Yeah. They'll they'll do anything they can right. for you too. Yeah. Yeah. When they start building the church up home. Well, that's right. It's always right in our uh, them boys. Yeah. You know, they teenage boys come work doing everything they could. Yeah. And, and then uh, see, they li still lived over in the cove. Yeah. Then, over but there. Then, yeah. uh -huh, and then they got to moving. Yeah. Or Ardenia moved them out. You know, the girls. And, yeah. Uh, moved them closer right. in. Yeah. yeah. They moved over. Yeah, to Andrews, yeah. They went to school at Nanahala first, you know. Yeah, yeah. They had to walk down to that bridge. Yeah. Or walk to that was a tree fields. They walked from their house down to there. That was a walk. Yeah, they went come yeah. th come across. The, they didn't come out to the main road. So they went down the mountain and come out down okay. to the bridge. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And their daddy, he finished school over there. And he used to ride the mail car out. Wade, yeah, Jimmy's daddy. Yeah. He, after he got up in high school, he he rode the mail car out of when it come out in time for him to get to school. Andrews. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And went to school. Our, and his sister, uh, uh, Annabelle. Yeah. Uh, she did, she come and stayed at Dora Lambert's up there on Call It Creek. Dora was her aunt, and she'd come and stayed with her when she was going to school. And uh, on weekends, when she went home, uh, I know we lived right on the head of June Luska, yeah. right up above where I live now. The last, <coughs> it was the last house then. Uh, and, She'd get up over in Lambert Cove and walk out there before the bus come. Up oh morning. my goodness! On a Monday morning, yeah, yeah. it's lots of times she didn't always, but sometimes yeah, she did. Yeah. And she was a beautiful girl. Yeah. Uh, she finished school. Yeah. Yeah, they did. She but, really wanted to go to school, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. yeah. And her, uh, I think, I believe her and her husband and one of their little children, they they moved over to Georgia. And that's where her husband was from. And I think, I think they said that Annabelle and her husband and one of their little children got killed in a car wreck. Oh, I hated that so yeah, bad. Yeah, that's so sad. Yeah. You never know, honey. 
from day to day, do you? No, you don't. don't. We don't know. That's mm -hmm. right, yeah. Well, was there, when you and your husband moved there to, to that house in Junaluska, was that a populated, I mean, it's not really a populated area now, but was it even sparser then as far as families well, that lived there? Well, I, I was raised up down in Junaluska. Uh-huh. Right up there. Uh, you, let's see. When you start from down at the bridge where the old Juno school has mm -hmm. used to be, you know, uh, coming up, it's that second bridge. Uh, that's where my grandpa Gibby lived, right up on, okay. right there in the bridge, that little road goes right in the house right up there. Okay. That's my grandpa Gibby's house. Okay. The, and uh, I was born, you going up to the house way up in, on the mountain, way back up on the that's where I was born. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, and I was born up there. And then I was raised up and down to Muska, different places. Yeah. And then my children, you know, yeah, it was always. And my husband was too. He was from Junaluska too? Yeah, yeah. right where, where my house is now. That was his grandmother and grandpa Taylor, his mama's okay. parents. And he bought it after his grandpa died. He bought it from his grandmother, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and we've always lived there only when I, when he's working, like I say, when he's working for the champion. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was like Champion International, the paper mill. Yeah, paper yeah. mill in yeah. Canton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So did yeah. he, um, you said he worked on the roads, is that what he was doing? Uh, no, he built roads with the dozer out okay. in the woods so the trucks could get to the it. logs, yeah, yeah, to get to the logs. Yeah, like that's the, the way they had to do back then, you know, they had they finally got trucks, yeah. you know, uh, Cliff Dockery. He had people, he had a camp out there. I mean, he rented a place, it was a farm. Yeah. He used to be a farm, and he rented it, had a big old farmhouse. So some of the men would, he, he had a bus, bus, and he'd pick up, they'd pick up men and Andrews and around and mm -hmm. take them out there on one, on, they'd come on a Sunday, and they'd stay that week. And then the next, then I'd go home the next Thursday evening. Okay. And I'd have from Thursday to Sunday, every other weekend at home, yeah. Mm, hard workers. Yeah. yeah. And uh, oh, Cliff was, uh, he contracted from the company champion, you know, mm -hmm. he was the main head boss of them. But the company paid my husband to build the roads, you know, okay. him and another, there's other men too, yeah. they built, yeah, and he got, he about got killed when he was 29, a tree fell on him. Yeah, was he, uh, Melvin told me about that, but you can tell me, tell me uh, about it, Did, was it, I can't remember, was he pushing a tree and it come back, or what happened? Uh, yeah, they pushing a tree with, with the dozer, you know, and sometimes they'll go the wrong way. Right. Yeah, and it, uh, he, his whole right side of his head up, down, down, down to his ear, and back up around here. Mm. Uh, so it's working. Uh, him and uh, uh, Van Mosteller. Now he stayed out there too. You I don't really know the the Mosteller for not time to ask it. Um, yeah, I went to school with some. I don't know if it was the same ones, but I went to school with some Mostellers. But. Did you? But he stayed. He was out there when he got hurt. Yeah, was. he was out there. We we lived out there in a little one of those little houses. They built houses, built houses. Uh, the, it was big enough. They put it on the back of the truck and then hauled it and set it down. And then th th we had three of them. One, you know, they fed uh -huh. them around, made a, a house. You know, we yeah. had three rooms. Yeah. And. And some of the others just had two fat yeah. small, but uh, the company had done that for him. Yeah. The champion did, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what he worked that for about six years. Yeah. So maybe a little over six years yeah. ago. Man. So once he got hurt, what did they take him to the hospital or what happened? Oh, they took him to Valdez over uh -huh. to the hospital at Valdez. North Carolina, mm -hmm. that we lived right there from Valdez, yeah, between Granite Falls and Hickory and all that yeah. other place. Right? And uh, there's a doctor over there at the hospital that had went to school with the doctor, uh, and he was a doctor at the Baptist Hospital in Winston-Salem, mm -hmm. and he was a head specialist. 
And he told me, he said, I'm going to send him on there. And I told him, okay, and they did. They sent him on there to do the surgery. Yeah. But they didn't think he was going to live. So they took it all out, you know, and cleaned his brain off. The doctor oh. told him, said, we washed your, your brain. Goodness. And, yeah. And they didn't think he'd live, but he got to come home. I can't remember, it was two or three weeks. Mm -hmm. And you know, he walked and got in the car. Wow. The, the whole left side now was paralyzed to start with. Yeah. But he'd come back in his leg. And he got, he walked and got in the car. And we got home back up where we, back where we lived, you know. Yeah. He got out. They had his truck that he had his nose run was sitting out there. He got out of that car and went and looked at it over before he even come in the house. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yeah. It was like, yes, Lord. But uh, he'd come back, but his left arm hadn't yet. And so there's a doctor next door to this head specialist, uh -huh. a doctor more. So they stood there and, talk, and told me how to exercise his arm. So I'd exercise his arm every day. And he said it felt like electricity run through it. Mm. But you know, he came back and he could use that hand, but he couldn't tell how tight he was holding it. Yeah. Uh, he could use, just move his arm and all, and he could, you know, but he couldn't tell how tight he was holding anything. But he went on, he went back to work. That was in 6th of December. Mm -hmm. Do you believe he went back to work in February? Wow. He That's did. a miracle. It is. Yeah, a miracle. He's, 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 and he worked like that for 11 months without a plate in his head. Oh, my goodness. And went back and forth to the doctor. Oh. And they said, when you've lived this song, said, we're going to put your plate in. Yeah. So they put a platinum plate in his yeah. head. That was, see, Roy or see, I can't remember who's one of the children. I think we had about three then. And anyhow, later on, after uh, it worked down and it made an abscess sure. Uh -huh. And Melvin, Melvin was the youngest then. And uh, they uh, took that plate out and they had to let it to heal back yeah. before the heal and all yeah. in our. And then they put another plate in, but they didn't put a platinum in that time. Yeah. And he's he went uh, he worked in t different companies. He worked in tunnels. He worked in Pennsylvania. He worked in Massachusetts. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was a and miracle. And I said, now if they stump their toe, they ain't gonna <laughs> work a lick at nothing. They wouldn't kill. They wouldn't pick up a stick to kill a snake. Would. That's. That's right. He, he was really tough as a pine knot, that old saying. He he was truly tough as a pine he's, knot. He's determined, that's yeah. for sure. And he went yeah. on and worked his, yep. Did till, he not work for a while without even a school at all? There for a while? Why, honey? Didn't he work for a while without even that part of a school? You know, he had to wear that. Oh, yeah, he worked, he worked 11 months. And then, well, it, yeah, when they took that other one out, he had to. He had to wait till that healed up till you know, the before they put another healed. one in. Mm. And he was 28 when he when he had the accident, wasn't he? 29. 29. Mm -hmm. Just a young man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and he lived to be 70. 70. Was 71, Mama? 77. I forgot her name. <laughs> yeah. I had a stroke and I, I, I had to think of my kids' names and I, try, I have to try to think when their birthdays are now. And you still could just call them on there. Wow. Well, but can't no more. I can't call them and I, mine and I have not had a stroke. So <laughs> so you're doing good. Yeah, he's yeah. 71. You're doing he was good. born in 23. Okay. And died in 94. <laughs> That's good. But he had, he got, had cancer on his lung. Uh -huh. And they did surgery on him, but he smoked. Yeah. And the doctor said, it, uh, "That's what killed him. It damaged his heart smoking." Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So a, you lived there six years, and then y'all moved back to Junaluska. Then he just, like, y'all moved back, but then he would just go off and work. Uh -huh. Is that how? Yeah. Be, uh -huh. Yeah, he worked in different states. Yeah. 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 How many kids all together did you have? Seven, you said? I My first one uh, was a little boy, and uh, it was a healthy, beautiful baby. And... Mama was there, and Alyssa's mama and daddy, they all was there when the baby was born. They just so tickled, and they went home home that night. Alyssa come back the next morning to the hospital. It's Murphy, yeah. that Murphy's for us in the hospital, that Hoover's hospital. Uh -huh. And they come back the next morning, they, our baby was there. Oh. Mm. And they never did tell us what. What happened? Mm. 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 But then I had seven more, so mm. God gave me seven more. Roy is the oldest, mm. and then I had four girls, two more boys, mm. Jacob and Melvin. Yeah, yeah, that's a good family, yeah. Yeah, and they all graduated from high school. Roy worked his way through mechanic school, and he went back down to, he, he worked the summer before he went to mechanic school down in Georgia. Uh, his Lewis had two brothers that worked building them big bridges mm -hmm. down there. So he went down and worked that summer, saved his money to go to mechanic school. So when he got through mechanic school, uh, he come back and he started working at Boring Chevrolet Place. They paid him forty dollars a week, and he'd met his girl, uh, this girl down there. It, well. This girl's sister was married to Lewis's youngest brother, mm -hmm. the youngest one in the family, okay. please. Anyhow, and Betty's Roy's wife's name and Dolly was Vernon's wife's name. Mm -hmm. So when he come back, he started going to see her. He decided he'd go back down and work, on the, work down there. So he went back down there and he worked on those bridges for over 40 years. Wow. Building those yeah. big bridges. Yeah. Yeah. And the people that he worked for, uh, when he told me he's going to retire, they asked him. I said, "Would you stay on till this that this bridge is finished?" And he did. Mm. And you know, this one bridge, his youngest child, Brian, was I believe two weeks old, and he has a newborn, you know. When he, and he'd have to go down and stay all week, you know, yeah. before he come home. And it took them a year to build that one bridge. Mm. Brian was a year old when that when bridge was finished. finished. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Can you imagine working on one bridge for a year? No, goodness. That must have been a big bridge. It was. Yeah. See, they worked up to down, like, down to the Georgia line. I mean, you know, it's in Georgia. Yeah. So they worked uh, the states that yeah. joined, joined it. Yeah. the bridges. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. All those bridges. Mm -hmm. But he worked down there over 40 years. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm.